Hey everybody, it's BuilderDude35, and today's tutorial is going to be all about caster wheels. So first things first, what is a caster wheel? A caster wheel is an omnidirectional wheel, which means it allows your robot to move in any direction it wants, whether it be turning or pivoting or swiveling. And you've probably seen caster wheels on the bottom of shopping carts, and these caster wheels allow the shopping carts to turn in whatever direction you want them to. So what constraints must a caster wheel fulfill for FLL use? The first is that it has to allow your FLL robot to turn or swivel in any direction. The second is it must be space efficient, where it's not taking up too much room and making your robot too big. The third is it must be made of legal parts, which is kind of a well-dust situation. Everybody knows that. The fourth is that uh, it must not get stuck on the mat. And what I mean by this is the mat, the table that the mat goes on is made of plywood. And sometimes these plywood pieces are not completely flush with one another, where one sticks up a little more than another. So you need to make sure your caster wheel will not get stuck on this when your robot goes to swivel or turn or drive over it. So with that being said, now I'm going to show you some sample caster wheel designs. So the first caster wheel I'm going to show you is a rota caster wheel. Now please note that you can not use this in FLL because it is not a Lego made element. But I'm just showing you because they're really cool to use if you ever want to consider doing it uh, for like a robot you have at home that you're making. So anyway these wheels have little rollers on the outside that are on a different axis from the normal rotation axis which allows them to uh, both roll forward and side to side. So this next design is a more traditional design and these are like the ones that you're going to find on the bottom of shopping carts. These ca caster wheels consist of a little wheel that's on the end of a lever and it uh, the lever rotates around. And the one problem with these is that they're pretty hard to execute because you need to give them enough space where they can rotate all 360 degrees around. And if you don't give them that 360 degrees to rotate, then they're going to lock up and then your robot's going to get all messed up. So now that brings me to the next design, the ball caster. This is now my new favorite design. And what it is, basically, it consists of a small metal ball that you pop inside of a socket, and that's it. And the ball lets you rotate in any direction you want, and because basically it's just a ball. It rolls around, and the socket is very space efficient because you don't have any parts that swing around or anything like in the caster wheel that I just mentioned before. Now, last but not least, as always, I'm going to show you how you can build a caster wheel using just ordinary parts if you don't have any of these fancy elements that I just showed you before. Now, you'll see I have something here where it's basically just little rollers, and you can use whatever you want as long as they fulfill all of the four constraints that I mentioned before, that they allow your robot to move easily in all directions, that they use legal parts, that they're space efficient, and lastly, that they will not get stuck on the edges where the plywood pieces end. Thank you for watching my tutorial video. If you would like to see more tutorial videos like this every Thursday, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you can suggest topics for future tutorials. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.